as the British colonized India, Bombay grew. In the 1800s, through vast landfill projects, British engineers combined the seven islands around Bombay into one. When the American Civil War strangled the cotton trade, Bombay filled the void and got rich exporting cotton. When the Suez Canal opened, Bombay became one of the greatest ports on the Arabian Sea. The 20th century brought independence from Britain. As in so many former colonies, a rash of renaming has swept India. Bombay was renamed for an ancient goddess, Mumba. New name, new problems. In the past three decades, Mumbai's population exploded. Its economy boomed. Its middle class ballooned. And traffic stalled. As more people can afford cars, streets are becoming parking lots. In some places, traffic is so thick, it's faster to walk. Most cities would try to divert drivers onto trains. Mumbai can't. The trains are already bursting at the seams. Mumbai needs pavement, but it's running out of land to pave. So we, what do we do? Either we build roads in the sky or we build roads in the sea. So we have taken to the sea at the moment. We are not yet ready to make the roads in the sky. Anil Lakina is in charge of building a road to relieve one of Mumbai's worst bottlenecks. If we make a ring road around Bombay in the sea, we can take the traffic off Bombay onto the sea. Today, a mirage rises from the ocean. An eight-lane bridge, four kilometers long and 30 years in the dreaming. The Bandra Whirly Sea Link. Most of the bridge will be prefabricated off-site, then assembled like a giant jigsaw puzzle. The bridge's piles will be driven 30 meters below the seabed. Atop each pile, a concrete pier weighing up to 500 tons, a total of 180 placed 50 meters apart. Then come the segments that will form the roadbed. Each is aerodynamically curved to deflect the monsoons of Mumbai. The bridge can withstand winds blowing 125 kilometers an hour. The indispensable workhorse, a 1,200-ton gantry crane that moves forward as the bridge progresses. At two channels, the bridge takes a flying leap. Suspended from 424 cable stays, stretched from two soaring towers, the higher one, 138 meters above the seabed. Working from both ends, crews will meet in the middle. When complete, the entire bridge will weigh about 340,000 tons, the weight of seven Titanics. This engineering marvel is so spectacular, it's expected to become a tourist attraction. It's also built for a lifetime. We have designed this bridge for the next 100 to 120 years. Longevity is built in. At peak production, engineers pour 150 cubic meters of high-performance concrete an hour, enough to fill 25 truckloads. Denser than normal concrete, it takes up less volume but packs more strength. It's treated with silica fumes to plug gaps and make it waterproof. To protect the steel rebar from saltwater corrosion, the concrete is mixed with a coal byproduct called fly ash. As a second line of defense, the rebar itself is coated with an epoxy that seals out oxygen and rust. The segments are the biggest and heaviest ever cast in India. Each weighs between 120 and 140 tons. Each segment is numbered, then hoisted into place like a bead on a string. Construction progresses one segment at a time, one span at a time. From pier to pier, 17 segments form a span. 
15 in the middle and two on the ends, atop piers. The segments are stitched together with 28 high tensile steel cables as thick as a basketball, anchored on the pier segments. As the bridge leaves landfall, construction moves out to sea. Segments will be floated on barges, then hoisted into place. The fish belly shape of the segments will reduce the force of the wind by 25%. Wind will flow under the segments the same way it flows over an airplane wing. This streamlined flow reduces the disturbing force of drag and protects the slender deck from stress. The fish belly shape was developed in Germany and tested in a British wind tunnel. My problems are not unique and my solutions can be easily borrowed from the other parts of the world. Mumbai doesn't shy from seeking advice. It's importing experts from China to construct something India has never built. A structure to accommodate not only the flow of cars, but ships. The waters below the bridge are heavily trafficked. To extend the footings from shore to shore would block the channel. Solution, the cable stay bridge. For two stretches totaling 950 meters, the bridge will be suspended from stays. In turn, the stays transfer their load to the pylons. Together, the deck, stays and pylons form that most stable of shapes, the triangle. 